this tutorial, you will learn all about how to create a very quick and easy organic balloon column. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start with is a quad of 11 inch balloons inflated to various sizes. Now there are several different ways that you can create an organic balloon column. This is a way that you can do it without stringing the balloons together to create a garland. We're going to just place them individually on the pole. So typically I start with the dark colors at the bottom because colors have a visual weight. So dark colors are heavier than lighter colors. So I start from the dark at the bottom and move up gradually to the top. Now when you're using the EMT as your framing, you need to protect the balloons from the sharp edges of the metal. So you just simply place a balloon over the top. So in this case, I used an 11 inch round. And so now I'm at the top to my lighter color. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our clusters to fill in spaces to cover all of our mechanics. Now what I'm going to do is use a flattened 260 modeling balloon and I'm going to go ahead and tie it to each one of my clusters. Now your clusters can be in three, they can be in five, they can be in two. Now keep in mind, most things in nature come in odd numbers, but rules are always made to be broken. So you don't have to do three or five. It could be four or it could be two. It's up to you. So all I do is tie either end right to the middle of where the balloons are twisted together. And then we're going to go ahead and fill in the gaps. Now, in this case, I'm filling the top because you can see my frame. So we definitely, of course, to have a polished look, you don't want to have any of your framing shown. So I'm just simply tying in that 260 into the balloons already on the framework. And then you'll see there's some exposed framing. So we're going to take a cluster and we're going to, again, use a 260 that's been flattened and we pull it in. And then you can simply wrap it in so that it's secure. And then you just keep on filling the gaps. So here... I know that I'm going from the yellow to the green. So I have one cluster that's yellow and green, and then the other one is all green. So that there is a gradual gradu graduation from one color to the next. And then you just basically keep on. And there was a little, a little extra lag there, so I just kept twisting it around to make it a little tighter fit. And not only are the clusters filling in all your gaps to hide your framework, it's also giving you volume and dimension. And this is what, make, what makes it organic. So now I'm also using a 260, but now I've tied it into a loop. So I can just show you another way of using that 260. And then we just keep on going. You're just filling in the gaps. Now what I'm showing you here is you can actually use a rubber band. And since this is only one cluster, I don't have two separate ones. Because it's a large rubber band, I doubled it up so that I can just slide it over one of those 11-inch balloons as you see here. And it's just giving me some volume at the bottom. And there you have it. Your easy organic column. 